hello 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 welcome back to canna's world my name is canna in today's video we have another fried chicken place this is a place one of the subscribers had brought it up to my attention again it has been on my list for a long time so i brought it to you guys here today now simply put when i go to a place i don't just get one thing as you guys know so what we have here is pretty much their whole menu or the bulk of the menu we got their fries this is hot shake fries so it's basically their cajun seasoning with fries shaken up now unlike other fries this is not drenched in the um, garlic sauce or anything like that this is just like a dry rub shaken really well with their fries mm. now mm. Oh wow, that, that, that seasoning gets you. All right, along with chicken, you'll always need some slaw. So they have cold slaw here. We'll see how deep it goes and how drenched in sauce it is. But from the outside, it looks amazing already. But wait, this is the creme de la creme. This is their main dish that has it everything they do a little bit of this a little bit of that so this combo has both their tenders and a slider so let's examine what we have here we got the chicken tender this is a mild they have again five level of spiciness this is mild um and it actually explains what spices they are so i'm going to show you that right now okay we got some then the shaken fries the chicken tender Look this at that. Huge. That's huge. And then we got their slider. Now, looks like uh, two pickles, a very a lot of seasoning. There's the coleslaw underneath. Let's move these pickles apart. Now, good. Now, I've did this um, at another place out in the Riverside Food Lab. You guys want to check out that video. It's actually a really good place. This seems a little bit smaller, but again, location, location, location. And we got their sauce here. This is one of their specialty sauces here. It looks like a variation of Thousand Islands with barbecue, but we'll see how that goes. All right. Go for that slaw. All right. Cheers, people. Nice, mild crunch. I would put spices in there, but I'm assuming they made it a little bland because it's supposed to pair up with the tender. Look at that. This is a thick, long. Okay, that's not a good Mmm. Mmm. That spice gets you. So, the meat is nice and tender and juicy. Like, you could take a look at this right here. It's so juicy. Like, it's a little bit of force, and you can see the juices oozing out. Fresh out the fryer, you could hear that crunch as I took a bite into it. Mmm. But the spice rub that they use stays with you, so that flavor is going to last you throughout the day if you come here. Let's go for another bite here. Mm. Mm. Nice and tender piece of chicken. Really great flavor. And my drink of choice is always an orange soda. This one is is Fanta. Let's go into this. Oh, man. So this is a slider. So it's smaller, but this isn't like the um, traditional slider. It's actually bigger than. So it's kind of like in the middle ground. Okay, let's go. Mm. 
Mm. That pickle, mm. it really helps break down the spice. Mm. So if you come out here, regardless of you're getting tender or the slider, always get the slaw because the slaw will help you. Comparing this place to the one in Riverside, this one is heavy on the heat, but very juicy. So the choices for me would be if I was ha if I had a quick lunch, I would come here. This slider alone kills it. The flavor, awesomeness. Um, fries, perfectly cooked. But if I was to go out and want to splurge and want to impress the date or impress Letty, I would go out to the Riverside Food Lab. It's just, how can I say this? Both are really good. It's just one is more um, overdone. Like it has all the um, the fries, the large pickles, the two pieces of chicken in their sandwich. Mm. Right here. Nice and quick and easy lunch. There are some places where you go out as a treat to yourself. And then there's some places you go out as a lunch. Kind of like McDonald's versus The Habit. The Habit is overdone, really awesome, and does a job. But McDonald's has a burger that's good, but it'll serve you for lunch. But as I said in my other video, Go to your local places, support the business. They're, they've suffered enough for the past few months. They need as much support as they can get. So if you're in Orange County, there's one growing um, coming up at the village. And this is actually starting to become a bigger chain. So it's starting off small, but it's getting bigger. These are just simple fries. Cooked right. Good seasoning. But unfortunately, this is nothing, nothing too spectacular. If you just get some Cajun seasoning, you could probably bust this out at home. There are other stuff on the menu, but I just felt that this is encumbers um, the core of what they are. Mm. But I will admit, this is one of the best chicken sliders I've ever had. It, like I say in all my videos at this point in time, thank you. Make sure you go out, support your local businesses. But until next time, keep eating. There's no place